Don't be tricked by the beauty of these flowers gently blowing in the breeze. They're shriveling in the South Louisiana heat. The blooms mask heartache felt by so many people gathered here under a sad set of circumstances. Behind their beauty, pallbearers carefully carried the casket containing the body of 29-year-old Thomas Lavalley. They brought it to the spot where he'll rest forever. Ah. As guns fired, taps played in the background. Law enforcement saluted a fallen friend. The pain this family feels is palpable. You can see it on their faces. Their grief felt by people all across the state and nation. Officer Lauren Abair traveled a long way to be here. We are standing here today in support and solidarity representing the New York City Police Department. Uh, because when an officer, whether it's a large city or a small town, when an officer is killed in the line of duty, it's an attack on our society as a whole. Uh, as you can see, our uniforms may look different, but all police officers have the same mission, and that's to serve and protect the cities we live and work in. From the funeral home where everyone gathered to the short drive to the church where Thomas Lavalley was remembered, hundreds of people lined the streets of Ascension Parish as they waved flags on the route where the hearse carrying his body traveled. Sergeant Michael Carter was Lavalley's supervisor. Whenever you lose an officer in the line of duty like this, when they're maliciously murdered for no reason, no reason whatsoever, unprovoked, uh, uh, you know, un unwarranted in, in any way or any fashion, you cannot fill this void. You will never get back a man like Thomas LaValle when you lose him. You simply have to learn to cope with the loss, and you have to continue on with life, knowing that there's always going to be that void. As this family tries to come to grips with this grief, they hope LaValle's legacy of seeing the good in people carries on. He had a tremendous love for his family and his community.